Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, this uh, scratch tutorial slash uh, learning together uh, kind of thing we're doing here. Today we're going to be covering the control blocks and these are very useful. They're like the meat of the pie, kind of what helps you control everything in your program and it gets you more into the loops and stuff and statements of your that I kind of use out there in programming they give you the idea of how they work and once you learn how they actually work you go and learn a language and you understand the concepts so understanding the concepts in programming is very important because learning the language it's, it's like just learning any other language once you know the concepts of how to program you just need to figure out how to use a certain language so that you can do the things you need to do with the languages and or the program you need to build depending on the language you need. So let's go ahead and get started with the wait here. This one just basically waits depending on how many seconds you give it. And I left the stage as I had it last time. I figure there's no point in me changing it all the time. I'll just open the same one. Cause like every time I keep opening a new one I keep creating an empty project. So <laughs> I left it as that. Um so this one just basically waits and that's all it does. Here this one's a repeat loop. It repeats whatever you would have inside of it for a certain amount of time that you give it and it'll stop repeating while the one stops counting so what it does this repeat loop it'll repeat whatever's in there count the counter up come again repeat again repeat again until it's done this guy here has forever he just keeps going and going and going Un unless you put a breakpoint somewhere in there that is activated by a certain event and we've used we've used the wait and the repeat I believe and the forever loop for sure we have used those we used several ones of these ones we did use the if we did use this if and then and the if and then is basically a um, create the condition so that if the condition is true then the block inside it is activated so whatever you give it here like for example if it's cold then um, get a jacket but it, yeah that's how the if works it's just waits in that condition and if it, the condition is true they will go ahead and execute whatever it's inside now the if then it's different than the if there's some they're i would say cousins <laughs> if that's a, even a thing in in programming but they're kind of related uh because this one has the same thing. You wait on a condition. If the condition is true, it would execute whatever's inside the block right here. If the condition is not true, then it's going to execute the else. It always ex This one will always execute something. This one will only execute whatever's in the if. But this one will always execute something. Even if it's false, it will execute the else. Whatever's in the else. Okay, then we have the wait until this is just passes the script until the amount um, to the condition is true right here so uh, it'll, sp it'll pass whatever the program is doing until this condition is met and this one is very useful you can use inside of any other loops and have pause it until something is met okay and this one repeats this one repeats repeats uh, a condition and it's different than this one because it, it this one will repeat until the condition here is tr met so if it's true if something is met the condition is met then it'll exit the repeat loop this one just exits when the timer is done okay and this one here this is our stop all this uh stops the screen is uh sorry stops the program and 
everything running. And we've used this one in other pro in other projects. It just stops everything when something happens. It it is usually used like that. Let's see. So we would tell it all and it'll stop everything, but we can tell it what we want it to stop. We'll look more into those in detail later when we start using them in project in other projects. I'm gonna try to build more projects that are out of out of that um, uh, coding for kids and scratch three book. Um, it was a good starter book. It was I mean really good. A lot of real good concepts in there that I would have never thought of doing. Now I have a lot of crazy ideas I want to work with. I do have a Makey Makey, so that's going to be one of those. <laughs> I am going to try to make the uh, uh, that game board that it's called the Operator Room. Operating Room. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with it, it's, uh, it's kind of like you have a little body of a person and then you put little objects in there and then you have these uh, tweezers. And you're supposed to take out the items out of the tweezers um, with the tweezers out of the hole and not touch the edges because if it do, you do then the buzzer goes off and then the light turns on but yeah I'm working on that on the side oh. <laughs> when I um, so this one uh, when I started clone this is also one of those um, hat blocks that we were talking about yesterday and this is uh, this one always uh, ex it waits for the clone to give it a uh, to do anything. It's only triggered by, by a clone, so if clone then do something. And then this one here and this one here, so it looks like these three right here are just clone related and clone are basically a copy of your sprite. And this one right here is the one that is used to create a clone of the item or the sprite. And it just basically creates uh, a clone of it. And this one, I do remember using it for the wizard, wizard versus taco game. I think it was called the one with the wizard trying to catch tacos. And just basically, it's clones of it. This one here, as it's self-descriptive, is uh, deletes the clone. And a lot of times, like, like for example, on that game. We don't want the clone to stay there. We want it to look like it's like it's moving at a very fast speed. So we want the clones that it's creating to be deleted. And uh, yeah, this is a quick, again, quick, very quick tutorial on all these little blocks. So this is the controls again. And uh, hope this is helping someone out there definitely helping me uh, figure out how to use Scratch and getting a little more creative and trying to teach my son again on it. He likes it. He thinks it's fun. I'll probably one day put a video on one of his creations. He's trying to help me out with that uh, doctor game. It's a little more complex for him but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, see you guys later then. Uh, thank you so much for watching and, uh, have a great weekend.